What is lighting and why do we light? Lighting, yeah, it's funny. When I started lighting uh, in grad school, it was purely motivated by exposure. I was shooting on film. I started shooting on reversal 16, which is, you know, difficult to light and does not have much latitude. And if you screw up, it's gone. And so I was lighting purely to have exposure. So if you looked at some of the films that student films that I had lit, um, there was nothing attractive about them, but they were exposed. Uh, but now, you know, I suppose it goes back to like your question about a great shot or something. It's it's intention. It's always intention. So it's trying to enhance whatever mood you're looking for. Uh, is be that something is you know beautiful or scary or and you know there is also um i don't know where this where or when this started but when i'm on set very often there will be and i don't know what it is and this is tricky uh is i'll be looking at an image on monitor and we'll be lighting it and it won't feel like anything. That's what I'll say. I'll be like, this isn't something. Like this isn't, I don't, what does it need? And, and sometimes I don't know. And so I'll go back to, okay, when, I, when I'm feeling lost, like a shot isn't working, I'll go back to what is the scene? Where is this character right now? And okay, if this is the emotion, what, what does that mean to me in terms of lighting? And then, you know, I interpret it however I interpret, or I talk to my gaffer or director or key grip and and I'll kind of talk it out and feel it out and sometimes it takes some experimenting but there is this thing it's not the best way to work but it's how I've worked for years now where we'll start futzing if I'm if I'm feeling like this shot isn't doing what I want it to do the light isn't doing what I want it to do I'm like well what if we turn that off and and we'll, well what if okay maybe take away the diffusion there and then something will happen and I'm like, oh, this is something. Like I don't like now. It feels like something. It like has personality to it, and it's such a. It's really difficult to explain because the truth is, I often don't know why. I, I can't. You know, I do all my prep work, so I try to um, marinate in in a show's intention, a show's mood, a show's atmosphere. But then, you know, when you're shooting shot after shot and you're on the, the 1,000th shot of a sh show that you're shooting and you're trying to find something and it's not there, I really, and I, I, part of it feels like a little bit of magic. I don't know what that is, but the light, I'm, very, I'm always very conscious of light and sometimes it just doesn't feel right and I don't even know what that means. Like what is right? What is, there's no such thing as right or wrong but something in me is not responding to what we're doing. And, and very often it's, uh, it's because of the light. And so it's, it's not much of a specific answer, but that is something. And the leader is the intention, the intention of a scene, the intention of like just, just trying to think of where your characters are and sometimes a light can be too dominant or sometimes it's not enough or sometimes it's drawing the eye to the wrong place because uh, it can you know just like a door frame and a shaft of light like these are all ways to direct the eye and so i think for light it's it's just another tool another way to direct the eye and direct intention or mood i guess so a bit of a babbling answer but I, it's kind of how I feel about it. Sometimes it just is this mishmash of concepts that you're trying to hone in and then something clicks. You're like, yeah, that's what it is. It's weird. And referring back to Pen15, mm -hmm. your Hulu uh, project, the two, two, uh, one and two, mm -hmm. um, you said with that one, it was not to make scenes pretty. Right. So with the lighting again, you were not using any kind of fillers or... Yeah, it was so... Yeah, so, you know, I mean, so the show's naturalistic uh, in general. And so, I mean, some of the basics are if we're in a bedroom, the light is going to, if it's bedroom daytime, 
And that's a big part of it. I work with the script supervisor very closely for a number of reasons, but one of them is I like to track time of day. It doesn't mean I'm going to always stick to it, but I, you know, I always am checking with her. I'm like, okay, so this scene, is this like you know, two o'clock? And she's like, actually, no, it's like five o'clock. And so some, I'm like, oh, okay. So then we'll, we'll lower the sun that's coming in a window. So it'll, and we let how it might actually be lead the scene. That, or that'll at least be, if you think of it as like a hunk of clay that you're shaping, you just getting the hunk is, is like where to even start. And that's often what it is. It's like, okay, it's 5 p.m. We're about to go to dinner with these kids, so it should not, so it should be a little darker. Let's start. And so part of it is smoothing out transitions because you know the next scene is just night. And so it's like, okay, well, you don't want to jump from noon to night unless you want to jump from noon to night. And so you let the the way it would actually be, you let that be the leader. So a lower sun coming in the side. And then you decide with with everybody, you know, the art crew and the directors, like, okay, these blinds, open, closed, it's gonna change the look in the room. And you can, intention should always be the leader, but sometimes you're just, you're like, okay, I don't, th this is too bright. Okay, well then maybe we throw a tree branch in front of it, try and break it up, we, a diffusion, or maybe it's a cloudy day, you want it to feel like a cloudy day or feel like a sunny day. And these are all decisions. I mean, it's, it, that's really what a lot of it is. It's just a ton of small decisions that hopefully are being led by a concept. And then eventually you find yourself in a place that feels right. And I think that helps. I think that when you lead with intention and you know what the character's state of mind is at a particular time, it really helps because you can make tons of decisions. Are the lights on in the room? Are they off? Is the overhead on? Is the lamp on? Are the blinds open? Are the blinds closed? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is, is the sun over here? Because you decide, you know, was, or should we put the sun there? It, you can get overwhelmed by options but if you have places to start, if you know the story, if you know the characters, that at least gives, you can at least point your ship in a direction. And I think that for me at least uh, is huge. That's everything, otherwise I'd go insane. Because you can light any scene a million different ways. There were a lot of scenes where the, the two protagonists were in front of their lockers Mm -hmm. In sort of like the horrific halls yeah. of the, <laughs> of the junior high, <laughs> and and sort of the 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 bareness and ugliness of of you know you're on display for everyone. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, and that's and we debated uh, especially in season one when we were shooting locker scenes by the locker in the ugly hallway. You're like, well, you know, the light people tend to look better if the light is coming from the non-camera side. Just in terms of if you're just, you know, no, no intention or anything, it's just nice if it's coming from the opposite side. People, it'll be flatter if it's coming from the camera. And so we'd start to lean into that, but then we're like, well, but they're in the school hallway where they feel exposed and they feel like uncomfortable. So maybe that's actually good is that you do it what might be the wrong way, you know, and, and, and it's, you're juggling those decisions. And sometimes your intention is one thing, and then you look at it and you're like, well, it just doesn't work. And then you try it another way, and for whatever reason it works, and you respond to it. Uh, but I think that's also part of it, is being in, t being in tune with everything and seeing what you respond to. Because it's just so arbitrary in a way, the way that I'm gonna respond to something doesn't mean everyone will, but you hope that if, if your intentions are dialed in, and that's what's leading your decisions, that's kind of the sum of all of those parts leads to it feeling the way you want it to feel, I guess.